want to talk to you. There's something that you told yourself a long time ago you would stop concerning yourself with. Like, no more worries to this. You believed it. But you're contradicting that statement because you're still thinking about it. Losing sleep, minutes of your day, you can't be here because you're, you're over there. Like you want to be here, present. Another word for present, in peace. But you're over there. Oh, we can't even see you no more. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I got, I got a message for you. I got a message for you. <laughs> I want you to experience perfect peace. I want you to get to the place of perfect peace. I want you to come here. I see you over there, but I need you back. We need you back as a leader. We need you back. I'm gonna show you how to get back right now, right? Isaiah 26, three. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in me. Key word, trust. My question for you right now, where's your thoughts? Where's your focus? Where's your mind at? Because a lot of the times, the things that we sign up for, we sign up for the positive, the opportunity. We rarely sign up for the work that's involved, the struggle that you might have to endure, the sacrifices you may have to make. That's not what intrigued us in the first place. The hurt or the disappointment you might go through that might convince you to give up. <laughs> what side are you focused on? Because when you signed up for the opportunity, I'm gonna tell you right now, you were thinking about the abundance. You were thinking about the positivity. You were thinking about the benefits. You were thinking about the value, the word, where it can take you. The feeling. You were most likely at your most tranquil state of mind. But somewhere it went left field. Instead of the perfect peace you were experiencing, your mind is not on what God had planned for you. I want to get you to be in the mindset that God has for you. But it first and foremost comes through trust. Truly trusting that whatever predicament that you're in right now, God is going to reveal a way through. 
and out the circumstance. I say this because a few years back, I used to work at Target. I was making it to work every day, <laughs> right? My transportation was looking good. Managers loved me. But then my car started to become hurt. <laughs> and when I say hurt, things started not to work anymore. So I wasn't able to make it to my job on time. Late, absences, no calls, no shows. And I finally got to the point one day on a Saturday morning, bright as day like today. It would be what appeared to be my last day. <laughs> because prior to that day, they told me, hey, uh, Mike, no, we love you, but I'm going to be honest, when you signed up for the job, you didn't, you didn't tell us you would you know, be having these car situations. It's kind of making it difficult for the company. Um, you, have one more, you have one more shot. You have one more time to be late. I'm sorry to give it to you like this, but you have one more time to be late. I have one more time. <laughs> so that next day, Regardless of my difficulties, I got in my car. Put the key in the ignition. And this is the morning. A.M., like 9 in the morning. I crank it. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't know how to crank the key any uglier. My car didn't start. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 30 minutes later, I tried again. My car doesn't start. <laughs> I make that phone call in the next 15 minutes. I allowed them to understand that once again I'm going through difficulties with my transportation. I will not be able to make it into work today. Lady over the phone, she said, okay, I will get that to the manager. Um, but to be honest, she kept talking and talking and talking. Filling me up with negativity. It's not even the manager that hired me. It's just the, the front desk. Filling me up with negativity. So she hangs up. And all throughout the day, right? I tell myself in the morning that I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. Right? I tell myself, God, I know God got me. I know God got me. But my thoughts were saying otherwise. My thoughts were, oh, man, I'm about to get fired. My thoughts were, man, this might be my last day. My thoughts were, man, what, what, where's the next job? Where's my, where's my, where's my money going to come from? Where's my income going to come from? God, how am I even going to pay for this, this ignition? How am I going to do this? These were my thoughts. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Looking at this situation the other way around, when going through that situation, really allowing God to guide and direct that situation, oh, okay, I know I'm going through this for a reason. Okay, okay, okay. There may be a better opportunity for me coming up ahead. There's a reason. If you truly believe
that where you are right now is simply by accident. It's simply just to experience love. If it, it's simply just to collect the paycheck, right? It's simply just to leave. It's simply just to create. If you think that what you're doing is, is at this base level of reality, you're not truly seeing the bigger picture. You are where you are for a bigger reason. You have gone through everything you've gone through to serve a higher purpose. <laughs> you're excited about the new job you got. But you're not even there for the you're not there for the paycheck. It's not about that. You may truly be there to stir something up and cause major change. Hear what I'm saying? You're worried about things that you need to let God handle. You're worried about something that you said you wouldn't you're gonna stop worrying about a year ago. It's been two years now. It's been a couple months. That thing happened a couple hours ago. <laughs> let it go. Let it go and let God. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Trust God in your process. Trust God in your process. Whenever you're in doubt, reconnect. Whenever you're in doubt, reconnect. Have a talk with God. Allow Jesus to come in your life. See, for me, it's about sitting down <laughs> and allowing Jesus to take care of my problems. There's no need to worry. There's no need to stress. See these birds chirping? That's peace. <laughs> Experience perfect peace. Get your mind here. Keep your mind there. Throw this in the trash. Meditate on Isaiah 26 verse 3. Embody that message. Live that message. And I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed.